in this uh, AWS uh, restart program, yes, I wish to demonstrate this uh, 181 lab, uh, which is an activity troubleshoot the VPC. This in continuation with your 180 lab that is configured in uh, VPC. Okay, this uh, let me just click uh, to the contents uh, to this lab. This is activity troubleshooting the VPC. I'll just start my lab also, then I can explain about the concept and the objectives of this particular lab. Okay, so I started my lab. So this diagram basically this activity provides you an opportunity to practice VPC flow logs. Okay, so, so most of mostly command line interface will be in uh, will be demonstrated. So you need to have good exposure in uh, this CLI. So the main objectives of this this task includes is that we have to uh, the first step includes this Amazon S3 storage uh, bucket to hold all the flow logs. And then we will be troubleshooting and analyzing the flow logs. Okay, so various kind of uh, issues which are also uh, showcased. Let us uh, identify uh, in this uh, how the VPC configuration issues and also troubleshoot VPC uh, issues, enable the flow logs and uh, analyze the flow logs types. So this is the uh, objective of this uh, troubleshooting. So uh, the first step uh, includes this uh, connection to the CLI host using the uh, SSH okay so once this is done yes we go to enable the flow logs using this CLI mode okay using the CLI mode then task 3 includes this analyze and troubleshoot access to resources we will also do these things in uh, CLI mode so finally there are some troubleshooting challenges which are there the hints also are given let us go through one by one uh, of uh, troubleshooting various kind of challenges which are being demonstrated and hints also are given. So final last task four is to analyze the flow logs. Okay, so let us uh, wait for the lab to start and once the lab starts, we will go into the task one by one. Okay, please remember this is CLI, uh, we will be doing this lab mostly in CLI mode. So my lab is ready. I just click AWS to get into uh, this lab. Okay, so I'll also go through the infrastructure. Yeah, I'll just duplicate this uh, session also. One I'll be using for uh, EC2. So I'll just explore the things which are uh, given to us. So in my first task is uh, like uh, uh, connect to the CLI host using this uh, SSH. So we ha I have a CLI host also instances running. There are four instances which are running. You see this one. The first one is CLI host, private host, cafe server, and also the NAT instance. Just get connected to this uh, uh, CLI host. So I take a notebook also, notepad, CLI host. The IP address is uh, so and so, 54. Dot. Okay. So what I do, I just get connected to the SSH. So I also download my IPPK keys to get connected to the CLI host. Okay, so this is done. So I just get connected to the putty. using putty. This is my uh, host name. Okay, so I just take the connection as maybe thirty minutes. SSH or lab user four. Okay, accept EC2 user. Yeah, I get connected to this uh, uh, task of uh, one. Okay, once this is done, this is for the Mac users. Okay, uh, we can uh, uh, configure. Yeah, the second part is that just verify which region you are into, just copy this particular address. And then configure accordingly. Yeah, your region is in US West 2. Okay, so AWS configure. So this is configuring your. So for this, we need some details. Show. And we have this uh, what we call as a secret key, and of course, access keys are required. Just paste. Next is your secret key. Uh, 
and anyway region is a US hyphen west hyphen two and you can say this one. Yeah, my CLA is configured. Also, I can copy other details also as needed. As needed, secret keys, hid gateway, and all these details also are available. So I just copy into the notepad because these are required uh, during your CLI configuration. Okay, so this is done. Scroll down. But yeah, prompts you can uh, do all the 24 is over. Task one is completely over. So now task two. Uh, this is enable our VPC flow logs. So what you can do? Yeah, you can flow log. Uh, you can in this uh, replace with uh, four random numbers and replace the occurrences region uh, wherever EC2 instances are created. Like in my case, it is West two. So yeah, you can see this. I will write it here. Region is. Yes, hyphen west hyphen two. Okay, so I'll take this uh, number as uh, three zero one zero some any random log number, and uh, this region also I'll replace with the uh, US hyphen west hyphen two, and again under one US hyphen west hyphen two. So this is my command for this twenty fifth one. So just yeah, we are creating a bucket. Yeah, the bucket is uh, created. You can also verify. Okay, uh, I'm opening this one, a new one, to check whether any buckets has been created. Yeah, flow log 3010 has been created. Okay, now let me move to the next one, which is uh, uh, 26. Okay, so here you need to, this is 26. Just replace with uh, uh, some of the important, like I think you can copy as it is. To get the flow logs, yeah. So here the VPC flow logs has been created. Just make a note. This is your VPC ID also. The name tag which is given. This is twenty six. Is done. Now enable this VPC flow logs. This is twenty seven. We need to replace these elements, especially the flow log 3010. And VPC ID also, this is my VPC ID. Yeah, we are creating a flow logs. Yes, it has been created. The F1 hyphen, this is your flow log. This is your client token. That's okay. You should see flow log ID and client token. Yes, we have seen that. I just copy all the elements. This is your flow log ID and this is your client token. Right. So now 29. So let us describe this uh, flow logs 29. So it's trying to capture. Yeah, it has uh, already started capturing the flow logs, the ID. This is your success. So this completes your task 2. This is 28. I have only described this is the output. Okay, you understand. 
the 29. So now let us start analyzing the uh, what we call as the uh, uh, troubleshooting and accessing the uh, resources, troubleshoot access to resources. So copy the web server IP and public IP. Okay, you can find the show uh, in details proper. Let, let me copy uh, the public IP. Yeah, this is the public IP. I just copy this one. Right, public IP. Open a new browser and I just place it, place this public IP on the taskbar. Okay, so and the page fails to load, and if you receive error, the connection timed out. This is expected. So this is waiting, but it is expected. So leave the browser tab open. You can return later. So now describe with this elements name, IP address, and uh, uh, so and so. Now I need to replace this. This is 32. 32. This is my web server or IP. Is uh, I need to replace this IP with 54.202.172.217 Yeah, it will be the I need to close this one Has shown some out, out, output of the instances. So you see this site can't be reached. That is the output which has come. Right. So name, IP address, value. Yeah. Describe the instances. So and the command with this is this is done. So filter the results on the client side. This is view. So what I am going to do, uh, I, I want only the private address instance and so and so. So the same thing, I just uh, filter some of the elements. This is 33. So here I, I just web server IP, I replace this one. 54.202.172.217. Rest all the same. value let me see yeah. so this is the expected as expected the output it is running and uh, you get this even uh, the subnet id and also the group id of course your instance id whatever i asked for i got it i just paste it the output because i need for troubleshooting yeah this completes this should uh, complete my 33 so try to establish SSH to the web server instance. Okay, web server instance. Here I have several instances. I have cafe web server also. So this is my cafe web server instance. One seventy two dot two one seven. This is the web server which I was trying. Cafe web server IP. So for Windows user, yes, you can open using the same one I'll show uh, details this is my IP address open 50 this is a different one so I give my IP address 54 dot okay and of course connection I give 30 also, I can change colors IP with default foreground, maybe to identify that this is a web server. I'll say 255, this is green, I'll, I'll place this one. And under SSH, auth, browse for my PPK keys, last user. And say just open. Yeah, open. So uh, 
change settings, click connection, click alert 15. The connection is not yet so uh, it's, it's not yet connected. So this is what which is expected. Not the output describe instance command. You ran a moment ago that the key pair is used to connect the, is named as walk key. So the same key pair lab key you are downloaded, but uh, yeah, you can see even from here also the cafe. Uh, the key pair which is being used is walk key. Yeah, so scroll down. So re-establish connection if you want. Okay, so that you can eliminate the key pair issue. The same, this is the same key pair. Okay. Now there is a troubleshooting challenge. You have established the web server instance is running. However, you cannot load the web page. See here, I don't see the web page running. Also, I have a server. Also, I am unable to uh, log into the. What could be the Hint, hint one. So I'll go to nmap utility. Okay, from my server which is there. Let me try to do this nmap hint one. Oh. So how do you do that? You have this hint one troubleshooting challenge. Nmap in this particular one. Sudo so, install nmap. So this will install the map utility. Yeah. So I'll try to unmap as an S capital dot dot I'll see the ports. The host seems to be done and so and so. Okay. Here the hint one we try to do and map. But unfortunately, uh, I didn't see any uh, output in this. Okay, so it's not trying to. It's blocking. Okay, the ping probes, of course. Uh, so for this one, so hint one did not work anything. So now let me uh, check this uh, security group. Okay, uh, yeah, is it described in security group? You'll find it easier to analyze the results of the command if you use uh, group IDS parameter. Note that you can find this uh, security groups. After you run this describe security groups command, uh, analyze it, did you verify any security that are applied to web server instance? Let me check this one. So I can use this documentation uh, as needed for this uh, AWS C2 describe security groups. Okay. Uh, If you want to know the list of instances, what you can do, you can run this uh, describe instances and uh, probably yes, you can even uh, check which instance you are CLI host, this is the instance and go to uh, the instance ID, you can pull out the instance ID to get more information on this, okay, so this is right, okay, I describe this instances to uh, instances. Data, something like that, yeah. Here, yeah. instances data. I can say web server, or I can filter using my IP address also. So, 54.202.202. Yeah, this is my uh, data. This is my 54.202. I just so this is my one line number 160 I can see that this is my instance ID so I can uh, uh, I got my instance ID just uh, copy this uh, into my uh, instance ID right? this is my cafe instance ID I just replace this one with uh, the instance ID to get more details otherwise I can even go through uh, from the file okay so figure out the instance ID I just have more information so these are all the things which are there let me just check uh, some important information uh, described okay let me check the security groups what is defined you can see this one with the above command which you are running this is your security group yeah, the same command once you run it in detail of this given AWS uh, 
uh, describe instances. Uh, I just copy this security uh, instances. You see this one. This is my security uh, sg-02. Okay. So yeah, describe. Even I can ask the route tables also. I can ask the and describe my route tables uh, in in three. Unless the okay more. Uh, yeah, let me describe this route tables. You can see here showing as UTC ID. It's not UTC one, but uh, in reality this should be in uh, uh, UTC one. Okay, you can see this one. Zero one eight zero. So just replace this uh, with the UTC one public subnet ID. Uh, the show. This is the one subnet ID is this particular one. Just I copy this one. Okay, this is a subnet. Let me check what is the subnet ID. Showing as uh, the value as something else. Okay. So when you run the output, describe the route tables, recall. created so I think we need to uh, attach this one to AWS uh, to describe and run VTS so hence after uh, creating this uh, route table uh, what we need to do is that we can uh, uh, add this uh, Internet gateway to the route table, especially uh, after associating this uh, subnet into this. So once after you do this, uh, okay, uh, what you can do is yes, you can uh, refresh uh, uh, this website. Yes, is already ready. Is already ready. You can see hello from your web server, which has been started. So yeah, and also let me try to uh, log in into the instance. Okay, so using this public IP. So earlier. Uh, we could not because there is no public, there is no route. I think uh, once you your website is ready, uh, you can, uh, yeah, the website is ready. Yeah, you can also similarly troubleshoot uh, for uh, the change settings in uh, connection. Uh, maybe uh, try to log in. What could be the remaining issue? If you have an issue, yes, you can uh, describe and the subnet association query you can do that with your VPC subnet ID uh, yeah any ACLs are blocking or something you can try I think uh, with this we have troubleshooted uh, uh, this uh, web server part so you similarly you can do for uh, uh, this uh, 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 connecting to SSH Linux instance also thank you and bye